All right, today I wanted to show you guys just how simple it is to clean out the uh, Traeger 560 Pro Series. All you need is a pair of gloves, um, some paper towels, and then a little shop vac. Got some of the pups out here, Groover Maeve, uh, Elsa somewhere over in the corner, but they're just gonna be out here hanging out with us while we clean. Um, so first things first, you just wanna throw your gloves on, what are you doing, mate? You want to remove the grill grate first. So it has a top grill grate. So I will take that off, put it over here, and then I will take off my bottom grate and also put that to the side. Over here. Now that we have those out, we will take off our grease tray, which I just use tin foil on. So you'll also need tin foil. And I will just peel this off. It's been a little while since I've uh, done this so it is a little plastered on there. Ah, ah, see that one. And I will just discard this. Hey, come on. So throw that away. Um, Looks like that didn't work. Uh, this last time I must have left that on there a little bit too long, so I will actually have to clean this as well, which will add a little bit of time, but nothing too crazy. So now that we got all that removed, I'll bring you in so you can see this. You have your fire pot here, so we'll take that off. We'll also vacuum that off. But as you can see, there's a ton of ash in here. If you don't take that out, and vacuum that, then you're gonna have a lot of heating issues. So uh, set you back down. That is the first step. You just take your shop back, vacuum that all out. So let's go do that real quick. All right, so now that we got that all cleaned out, show you inside. Don't have to get it spotless by any means, but do want to get a majority of that ash and everything out of there. I'm gonna set you guys here and bring you down just so you can see in here while I do the rest of this. So I actually have you on the um, little kickstand thing here, um, tray flexible tray which is really nice while you're out here cooking um, but next all you want to do is just grab your paper towel take a few of these off and I like starting top to bottom so yes kind of give it a nice little wipe down try to get all that grease and nastiness out of here all that stuff that you can't quite uh, reach with everything else oh, knocking you guys over there um yeah just give it a nice wipe down back you won't be able to get everything but make sure you get inside the actual chimney here so that gets pretty nasty and gnarly so that's two paper towels right there another thing you really want to make sure you focus on is wiping out this grease trap here you really want to make sure you get good chunk of this out. I like pushing a paper towel down through here and that'll come out pretty good. So just get that nice little layer. That way you don't have to worry about a grease fire or anything. Um, this isn't too bad today. Sometimes what I'll do is take a spatula and I'll chip this out. Really get that nice and clean. Got some tin foil in here. Peel that off. Oh yeah. And there you go. You got it nice and clean. 
Um, next step would just be clean your grill grates. Um, you just want to put the fire pot locker back on there. Very simple. Just take these little clips, slide it in one side, pop it right down. Goes in very easily. And then you put your um, grease pan back in. I need to put some tin foil on it. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll show you how that goes in. All right, so we got new tin foil. Let's see if I can get this in here with you guys there without knocking you over. There we go. Just lock that in there. Make sure it locks in place. Shouldn't be sliding around and you wanna make sure the long end is facing down. That way everything is sloping and going out. Then you take your bottom grate, come right on in. There's two little hooks in the back. So all you have to do is line up with those hooks. Plops right in. Of course, I missed that one. There we go. Now we're locked in. And you take your top rack. Also, very easy to get in. And just line it up with the four holes in there. Boom, your grill's back together. I still need to clean my grates, but I'm gonna do that after I have got everything cleaned out and ready to go. As you can see, Traeger is super simple to clean, very easy to do. Go ahead. One more quick note, when you are done cleaning your Traeger, you'll wanna go, let's say it says clean fire pots, perform better, it's giving me my notifications. You'll wanna go into your menu, scroll all the way down to settings, go into settings and then go to clear notifications and clear, there you go. And you go all the way back to your main menu and now you're ready to cook. One more quick note, as you're starting your Traeger back up, you will see a lot of smoke come out in the beginning, the igniting phase. You do not wanna have your food on the grill during this phase. That is um, the Traeger off gassing. When I originally got the Traeger, I thought, oh, this is awesome. We get so much smoke. Um, it's really billowing out because you don't really see too much smoke during the actual cooking. Um, typically, especially not as much as coming out right now. As you can see, there's just a ton of smoke coming out of this. Um, it continues to increase as the igniting happens. But yeah, look at that, it's starting to really come out of now. Um, got a nice little breeze, so it's actually blowing it away. But if you were to have your food in there, I thought it'd be great. A, more smoke, the better. No, this is off gas. Do not put your food in there while uh, your Traeger is igniting.